Hey, what's up? This is Mark at Alchemist.camp, where we learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things. Today, we're going to go over some naming conventions for Ecto projects. This is part of the Ecto beginner series, so if you're not familiar with it, definitely check out that playlist. And let's just take a quick look at our app from the high level. So here are our schema notes. This is a delicious clone. Our app has users, links, bookmarks, tags, and a join table. What we're going to do is go over some inconsistencies in the names. So we have user, and then we have link, but tags is plural. And nobody noticed that I made this plural because when we're talking about tags in an app, it's usually plural. But our schema itself should be singular, which it is, and the name of it should match the name of the module. So we'll just change this file name from tags to tag. And similarly, we'll change them from link tags to link tag. Now notice that tags are still plural. So link tags is the name of the table, user, users, and this table name is determined by whatever we put into our migration. So this migration was called create users. There's no magic here. So we could have called that destroy users, but as long as we had create table and then users here inside the change, then we'd have a new table called users. All of these are plural as they should be. However, there's a bit of inconsistency. I named some of them create and some of them add. Now I just said, ah, you know, I'm adding a new table called bookmarks. So we'll call this add bookmarks. Usually it's better to just, or, or I should say, usually we do call them create if we're creating a new table. So it's definitely better to follow convention. We'll make this create bookmarks and this one will be create tags. And this one will be create link tags. Uh, and while we're at it, let's also make sure to change the names of all of these tables. So we'll save them as well. So this will be add bookmarks will be create bookmarks. And instead of tags, we'll make this create tags. We'll do the same thing, tag links, so create tag links. Now you may be wondering why is it that sometimes we do In fact, that's fairly common to see some table name somewhere that's got an ad in it, or some uh, migration name that has ad in it. And I'll show you an example in MacVim from StatWatch. This was, uh, this was one of the very first projects that I did with Alchemist Camp. And looking at the migrations, you can see we've got one that's called create profiles. And we're creating a new table with profiles. And it has names, URLs, Twitter, and YouTube handles. And then later I made a migration called add user ID to profiles. And here we're actually not creating a table. We're altering the table and we're adding a new field to it. So that's when you would call it add. Now let's look at a concrete example of this. I have a module here. It says add user ID to link tags. So imagine that we had forgotten to put user IDs in link tags, for example, uh, or maybe we didn't even plan to at first. We thought we just needed a join table between uh, links and tags, which is very reasonable. So our initial migration looked like this. No, actually, we want to know who did the tagging so that we can see uh, all of the users that tagged a certain link with a certain tag. Like every user who said that uh, you know XYZ website was interesting. Well, we can add it by 
making another migration like this. Now the migrations have a timestamp at the beginning of them. So we'll just copy this and paste it into a migration that we generate. So we do mix ecto.gen.migration and we'll call this add user ID to link tags. Over here, we'll paste in those changes that I wrote and we're creating a new unique index on it as well. So you've created or you've changed a migration, you've changed a migration uh, you can't roll it back if you've already run it because it'll try to roll back the updated migration that you've just changed and that had never been migrated, not the updated version of it. So usually if you're going to do that and it's an existing app, what you want to do is first roll it back, then change the migration, and then you can run the migration again. Now, since this app is in constant flux, since we're using it to uh, illustrate various things in Ecto, uh, we've been just dropping the entire database and rebuilding it each time, and we'll do that again. So mix ecto.drop ecto drops the database, mix ecto.create creates a new one, and then mix ecto.migrate will migrate it. Oops, mix ecto.migrate. And if you're running Phoenix, you can just do mix ecto.setup to do both the create and migrate, or you can run mix ecto.reset which will do a drop, a create, and a migrate. But we're not using Phoenix, so we don't have that alias. Uh, then finally, we're going to run our example queries again. We can do that with mix run example queries. And mix run will basically uh, load all of our mix projects things, such as Ecto library, and just, we'll have the entire project available to us and run that single script. So we'll do this, and we've got our database back up. These warnings are fine. These are just aliases I put that make it uh, easier for working with it in IEX. That's it for today. Next episode in the series, We'll dig into change sets and validations. See you next time.